Our Bill Churchwell continues his live coverage from Uvalde and joins us now with the latest. Good evening, Bill. That's right. I spoke with one mom and her son, a third grader who attends Rob Elementary, who was at the school at the time. That mom telling us she is holding her son very close this evening. He was one of the many students hunkered down in their classrooms during the shooting. Take a listen. It's emotional, especially for the families. Thank God my son's okay. He made it out alive. You were saying your son was in the school? Yes. Him and his classmates and teachers did a great job of taking care of them. They transferred him. They, got a, they took him out of the school. They got transferred to the Civic Center, and I met my son there. Thank God. I, I feel for all the families. I mean, very, very. I lost, my niece lost her son. His name is Jose Flores. He was in fifth, fourth grade. And Cordova's uh, son, Giovanni, was also willing to speak with us. He tells us that he heard the shooter knock on the door, passing up his classroom before moving to the other side of the campus today. Still a heavy police presence, lots of media here surrounding the school. That little boy, one of the many brave kids who were able to escape and be reunited with their family members tonight at 6. Hear how the community is coming together. Reporting live tonight, I'm Bill Churchwell. Now back to you. All right, thank you for that, Bill.